Hello, my name is Brad. I'm going to be walking you through my app, uh, Think Machine. It is a 3D mind map. So one of the big uh, ideas here is that most mind mappers today are too simple. They make you structure everything in like a 2D kind of top-down hierarchical order. Um, and with Think Machine, you get these ideas, uh, what we call hyper edges. Um, so Think Machine is built on this concept of a hypergraph, uh, which sounds complicated, um, but it's not too bad. It's not too complicated once you understand it, which is they're just these little connections. You've got an idea and it connects to another idea. And so one of the core ideas in Think Machine is the connections. And so we have this uh, toggle over here that we can walk up the connections and we can see that, um, you know, in this case, the Epic Gilgamesh, uh, we can see it's more connected now as we've started to walk up the, the different connections. If we separate these, you know, we can see there's all these little connections um, that, that, are, that are referencing it. And when we start to walk up the connections, we see they start to conglomerate. So these connections get longer and longer and longer until eventually everything's as connected as it could be. And so this is what Think Machine is, is it's a way to visualize, brainstorm, research complex information. And this understandably can be a little complex, um, but that's also what you know, Think Machine is really trying to do, which is information is complex. And when you try to simplify it, it strips it of a lot of value. And so the goal is to get it into Think Machine in the way that it is in your head. Um, and then you can actually visualize that information and you can see the shape of your information. So very interesting things start happening when you have, uh, you know, a bunch of ideas connected, they all kind of exist on the same dimension. And so I found this to be a really uh, fun, interesting, useful way to just explore and just learn um, and go down rabbit holes and find hidden connections. Um, so there's a, cool, a few really cool things we can do. Um, you know, if we find an interesting node, we can click on it and we can just get a subset of this. And we can start to say, okay, there's, there's some interesting stuff going on here. We can keep clicking on these and we can get more and more information. So this is the way that we can kind of explore the graph, the knowledge graph, um, just piece by piece. So this is one of the ways that we let you see the forest and the trees, which is you wanna be able to zoom out and get this high level interconnected picture. And then you wanna be able to zoom in and just get the simple thing that you're looking at. Um, so we've got some filters over here. We can scale up this depth and I'll start to walk out the knowledge graph from where we're at. So we can, uh, you know, scale this back down. Start to scale this back up. Uh, and of course it'll use the, the proper connections, right? So if something's uh, connected, then it will kind of crawl that link to go find something else that it's connected to. And it'll keep doing that until it runs out of connections. And so it's a really interesting way to start on one side and kind of end up on the other side, uh, you know, of a piece of information of, of Eastern philosophy and, and then go to Western philosophy or, um, you know, anything that has, uh, you know, different dimensions like that. You can basically pull a thread all the way through and kind of see how, how things work together. Um, so you can also search up here. Um, there's autocomplete. And one of the last really cool features is um, this AI brainstorm. Uh, so with, with Think Machine, you know, sometimes you want to say everything in this graph is 100% true. I've verified every single thing myself. And sometimes you just want to brainstorm. Sometimes you just want to want to explore, you want to see new ideas. And so that's what the, the knowledge graph is, um, or the generate part of the knowledge graph. So we can type something here, and then this is uh, currently on um, GPT-4 Turbo Preview. And so we can see this just generated uh, you know, a very similar graph to what we had had before. 
you know, can learn more about Homer's Odyssey. Uh, finally, to add information, uh, it's very simple. Um, this actually works with any of these controls up here. Uh, you can pretty much just start typing, and things will work as expected. So I can say A to B to C, to, uh, and then I can do C to B to D, and I can see these um, these get connected. So over here, you can click out on symbols. Um, and you can also hit backspace. So you hit backspace, it will delete the most recent one up here. Um, if it's empty and you hit enter, it'll just delete. So you can do things like uh, one, two, three, and then just hit enter. Um, you can see your history by hitting the back tick. Uh, it's the tilde in your top left of your keyboard, right under escape. When you hit that, you can see your edges here. If you click one, you delete it. Um, and there's a few other features. Um, you know, there's this ability to kind of spin things and you can uh, mess with the camera, do other things. That's think machine. It's aiming to be simple because the information that it's um, that uses it is is complex, and we try to do as good a job as we can to simplify it. You know, it's great to look at the whole view, um, but increasingly, I think uh, you know you work in some of these smaller subsets, and as you start to build out an idea, suddenly you know a new connection pops in. Uh, because it's related. And I, I find this is really magical in some ways because, you know, it's not, um, you know, it's almost like a looking glass, right? Like what you're putting in is uh, very dependent on what you're getting out. And so when you start on this really interesting thread, then you kind of start on another interesting thread and then eventually these ideas connect. Um, it's kind of like an aha moment. You know, you can feel the the connection in your brain forming. And so, I think Think Machine is a really powerful way to explore, brainstorm, visualize complex ideas, um, brainstorm with AI, um, search existing complex information, um, and yeah, just really learn how to think about an idea inside and out and really get to the heart of it, really see all sides, uh, really see all angles, um, just really get to the deep, to, to the bottom of it. So that's it. Hope you enjoy. Peace.